Now let's define an operator. We'll call it the preclosure operator. L bullet uh, that takes a set to its smallest preclosed superset. Because preclosed sets form a closure system, such operator must be a closure operator. So the preclosure operator is a closure operator. So once again, what's happening here? We started from a closure operator, double prime. And uh, now we know that some sets are preclosed with respect to this operator, double prime. Now we define another operator, L bullet, that takes every set to its smallest preclosed superset. And preclosed with respect to double prime. And this operator, it turns out, is also a closure operator, but it's a different closure operator. Now let's define it. Uh, well, first let's define an intermediate operator. Uh, assume that L is uh, the canonical basis. The canonical basis of our closure operator double prime. And so for this operator, x to l bullet, as follows. Uh, well, it's going to be a superset of x, so it contains x, but it also contains some other attributes. And uh, we go through, okay, it will contain sets p double prime, uh, such that um, p double prime is uh, a, is the conclusion of some implication from L. So we have an implication P implies P double prime in L, but also what's important is that P is a proper subset of X. So we uh, start with X, we look at implications in L, and if uh, implications of the form P implies P double prime. And if P is a proper subset of X, then we add uh, P double prime, the conclusion of the implication to X. This is almost like computing the closure uh, with respect to L, except that we're not looking at implications uh, that have X as a premise. We are only looking at proper subsets of X. That's just one step in computing the preclosure operator. And then we start with X, we compute x to l bullet, we get another set. Uh, then we again apply this operator, this intermediate operator, we, we get another set. And we continue like this until, well, as long as we get anything new. If at some point nothing changes after the application of l bullet, then we stop. And we know that we have computed uh, the preclosure of x. So we iterate. Um, until uh, we obtain a set um, L bullet of X, which is X um, to L bullet to L bullet and so on. Uh, so we, at some point we obtain a set and we'll, we'll call it L bullet of X such that any further application of this intermediate operator changes nothing.
And this is the definition of our pre-closure operator. Uh, it can be shown using propositions from the previous video that this is indeed the pre-closure operator. That is, L bullet of X is indeed the smallest pre-closed superset of X. Note also that when we computed L bullet of X, we only needed implications whose premises were pseudo-closed and uh, were proper subsets of X, and then proper subsets of L bullet of X. So we'll use this property to compute the implication basis in the next video.